Bubble Bobble, the Taito Classic, or Taito. How do you guys say it? Leave a comment down below how you pronounce it. I always say Taito, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. So more about the game. Bubble Bobble, it is a multiplayer game, and there's a ton of rounds and a lot of gameplay here. You will enjoy it. And yes, a fantastic story. And let's have some fun with this one. This game screams NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. I absolutely love this game, this series. If you played Bubble Bobble, well, that's where these cute little dinosaurs come from. And the objective is you, you have enemies on your screen in each level, and you basically put them in bubbles, the Bubble Bobble, and pop them and move on to the next screen and kill some more enemies. You can collect fruit for a high score. You can also rack up points to get extra lives. And it's just classic NES play. The controls are pretty intuitive and easy easy to play, not a whole lot of text. And a kid can play it. it that's what I like about it. It's good arcade play. Now this is an arcade port and there are quote unquote better ports of this, the Atari ST. That's a pretty good port from what I understand. I picked that up from Billy of the Game Chasers. And you, but still, you're gonna have a blast with this. Now let's talk about the music. One song, one song. Now, if you hear this song for longer than five minutes, it's going to be in your head for a day or two easily it's good it's catchy i like it but after a while man whew, it's stuck in there and it gets just a tad annoying it would have been cool if they changed up the tracks every now and again but that's okay it's still good it's still catchy i just died so the stages do get progressively harder like they should and there's extra things that get added to each level and you can like you'll see in this stage there's water and you can actually get combos by using the water and just get higher scores so there is some variety here and this is a very good multiplayer game you and a buddy can sit down and play it and have a blast have a blast now I'm not sure, I can't remember, because I, I didn't play the multiplayer, but I'm not sure if you can just go against each other, or you have to work together. Leave a comment down below if you guys know for sure or not, and you're seeing I'm using the water here, just for fun. The graphics, let's talk about the graphics here shortly. Uh, nothing to write home about, but it's not the worst NES game I've ever played, uh, graphics speaking. But it, it's simple. It's simple, cartoonish. I like the dragons. I do like the enemy sprites. But there is a lot of black. There's not really a great background, if that makes any sense. So does this game belong on the NES Classic Edition? Absolutely yes. I love this game. This is such a Nintendo game. When I think of NES... I think of this game. It's one of the games I think of at least. Now, a nice thing that would have been cool for Nintendo to do, which it makes sense why they didn't. They should have included the second one, Bubble Bobble 2, the sequel. Because that's actually a harder to find game and more expensive. But that's just a little minor thing. It's not necessary. But as a collector and as somebody who wants to play games, that would have been a cool thing to include. But Oh well, we have this, this great game. Awesome game. Highly recommend it. Childhood memories of this game. So, I did rent this game a lot. I never owned it as a kid. I owned it much later as an adult when I started collecting again. Found it for like five bucks or less. And it's pretty cheap. You can find it now. I think it goes anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars somewhere in that range i haven't looked at the price in a while but it is a very easy obtainable game and 
you can play it on this set you can play it on the NES and I'm sure there's other collections out there um, the Taito Legends set actually has probably the arcade game on there and uh, that's one that's another really good set of arcade games that I love so I back to my childhood memories I used to rent this game and my rental store was kind of unique so in the the late 90s early thousands they still were renting NES games and I would rent any they had a deal five for five nights five dollars for five nights so you can rent five games for five dollars for five nights I loved it and I would rent and they almost had a complete set of NES games now they didn't have anything like stadium events or anything but still they had a good selection and I this would be one of the games that I would pop in and rent every now and again and I'm glad that I did my brother and I would play it my friends and I would play it and just have a good old time trying to beat the game I've never beaten the game I'm sure if I sat down and played it now I could conquer it easily because it's an easy game I'd say the difficulty is about medium to easy range and very accessible very pick up and play and you're not going to be playing this for hours upon hours and that's another nice thing about it you can play for 20 30 minutes an hour and be satisfied it's a great game easy gameplay so that's going to wrap it up for this review guys i hope you have enjoyed it do you have any experience playing the arcade game do you like the nest game are there better ports out there a bubble bobble also what's your favorite bust and move game bust and move is pretty fun i remember playing it in arcade a lot and having a lot of good times with that do you have any childhood memories of this game let me know down in the comments below.